Tada! Hey, Trucker Matsy here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Productions on Farm Sim 22. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about right here. Farming Simulator 22. We have some new features. Uh, they are productions where you take crop, put them into certain factories, and then you use either sell that from there or you make it into other good things. So this is a trajectory on how to do that, where you take wheat and make it into bread. If you're here for that, stick around. All right, so we're basically, we're going to take two crops. One is wheat here. Let's take a look at it real here. We got 18 thousand five hundred liters of wheat right here and we have eight thousand liters of milk and we're gonna go ahead and figure out the production and all that fun stuff with that but first let me go ahead and grab a truck and flatbed i'm gonna go ahead and load these up get these out of the way so that they are not confused with everything else and we are going to get them gone All right, so here's the neat thing. Look, it has the things. It has the 5,000 liters of butter. We got 7,000 liters of bread and 1,000 liters of cheese. That's kind of neat. Uh, anyways, so we're gonna just park these over off to the side. And we're going to re-replicate. Re-replicate? Yeah. Obviously, I did some testing earlier. And uh, so we're gonna get this thing squared away. So we are going to go ahead and give you all the informations on prices and all that fun stuff. So right now, right meow, we have 18,500 liters of wheat. Now, if we were to go ahead and sell the wheat as we speak right now, we are looking at, at the most, $753 per thousand liters. And that would give us a total of $13,935. We will go ahead. I will have it all marked down at the end of this video. And we will see what the best price is for each level of production or just selling it outright. But first, before we get to that, go ahead and drop a like. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that as well. And turn on your notification bell so you never miss a future video. That being said, now I went ahead and turned on our interactive zone marker so we can kind of give a chance of what we're looking at, an idea of what we're looking at. And um, so like, here's obviously where you dump. This is info, and then this is where the palace will show up. So go ahead, click on here, pull up here and hit the uh, left uh, joystick. It pops up our production chains menu. And this will show you all the different things you have in play. So we have a grain mill place, we have a bakery placed, and we have a dairy deal placed here. Each one will show you exactly what the recipe is. So like sorghum flour, you got 150 liters of sorghum, will get you 158 liters of flour, so on and so forth. Obviously, looks like sorghum is like almost 50 or one to one transfer. So if you already know you're going to make flour, you might want to think about which product you're going to use for that. Now, as you see here, we have the materials missing. That means you don't have any wheat flour in here. Uh, but if you're, if you're to click uh, activate or uh, unactivate, you know, you basically go through and choose what you want to be running or not running. Like so. So right now we have nothing going on, but let's go ahead, drop our flour in, or drop our flour, drop our wheat in here. So go ahead and start up this vent here. Drive on over to where it will allow us to drop in. Like so. Go ahead, overload it. 
Now, the nice thing about this, these these uh, mills will take quite a bit. So that is definitely beneficial here. I just love these new game sounds. It's so awesome. All right, so now that we got the weed in there, we'll go ahead and click the deal here. As you can see, we have the 18,500 liters. It says inactive. So we go ahead, click over here. You can also just move up and down with the controller. And we just activate that. And then now, as time goes on, it will you'll see the flower start going up. So obviously, we already has some flower left over from before. It won't populate a pallet until it's at a thousand liters. So that's something to keep in mind. If you have this thing running and you're like, well, where's the pallet at? Uh, it, it takes, it, it won't populate the pallet until a whole pallet is complete. Uh, that is something I ran into when I was doing the testing. I'm like, wait, why isn't it like showing up the bottom of the pallet and just filling up? But it's just how it is. So while we're doing that, so we're also going to go ahead and drop in some milk just to kind of get a good idea of how this happens as well. This happens as the milk and the dairy function works as well. And we have the Linder tractor here. The, uh, I forget which one it is, but anyways, it's the wind track. Anyways, all kinds of fun stuff. I love the four wheel drive or four wheel steering on it. So you pull up here. Oh yeah, help window might help. There we go. I'm not sure why it's not showing console control. Here, let me do that real quick. There we go. <laughs> now we're only doing gamepad. All right, so we have that thing filled up there. We're just gonna park this over here, like so. Again, a little tool. A lot of times the tool is, or the wrench is like what they think is the entrance, like here. And then on this bakery here, it's, it's right in the doorway here. So. If you don't want to see these orbs all the time, you can turn those off. Just got to remember, you got to go to where they're at in order to select them. All right, so we could do butter or cheese. Either one. Um, you're running, honestly, it's about even. So we'll just do, we'll just do butter this time around. So we'll activate that. And now we will get butter and we will get not cheese. <laughs> And this also, the production's here. Like the cake, it tells you exactly all the products you need in order to make the cake. Including strawberries. So now we have that, we're going to go ahead and just... Where am I going? We are going to go ahead and fast forward time. Until everything has produced. Which I think is about three days total. Uh, with the flour. Anyways... So I'm just going to go over here, sleep a couple days, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, three days have passed. And we have a full pallet area of <laughs> flour. And we have a full pallet area of butter over there. Let's check this out. Alright, so we've used up all our wheat. And it's storing this much as you see anyways so what happens is when you start moving these pallets out of the way more are going to populate now what you could do here is you can change the output mode i don't want to do that on this one uh just because i don't want to run it through that way what we're going to do is we're going to do it on here real quick because well, we can do it. It's not going to affect what we're doing. So, like, bread. Say we're doing bread. You can do selling, distributing, or storing. Storing is just waiting for you to do something with it. Selling is you're just selling it right away from here. Good to go. Or distributing. There are other areas that can use the bread. I think there's... Or maybe just... Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. No, it's just there in case you want to do it. So this is the three options with the products as you've already created them. So now we're going to look 
about how many house of flower we have. Someone grabs a forklift and we are gonna just push them all off and see how many pallets we got all together. This forklift is a little slow, but it is a forklift. So there's that. I'm gonna show you what I mean by it populating. Okay. If you have played with Global Company on FS19 whatnot, you know that once these areas are full, it stops producing. That is not the case with this game. So we're just gonna grab this. Actually, let's get a little bit skinnier there. We're gonna do this and we are going to just push these all off of the pallet here. And then you'll see very shortly that we'll repopulate here. Ta-da! So I'm gonna grab and move these as well. Just, I'm doing it this way because then we can physically count how many pallets, how many things of flower we actually have. So we will see you again in just a little bit. All right, so we have 15 pallets and each pallet is a thousand liters. So let's take a look at our pricing on flower. All right, so right now, we're running about 960, um, but we're going to go ahead and say a thousand because I seen earlier prices of about a thousand per thousand a year. So you're looking at $15,000. Puts us at uh, roughly a thousand dollars more than just the wheat, which, you know, was it worth all the time? Maybe, maybe not. I'm doing this just so you guys know the, all the information. So, we're going with $15,000. Now comes the pump part. <laughs> we're going to, basically, I'm just gonna push these all over there. It's a lot easier than trying to move every single pallet. But, you don't need to see that. We're just gonna, well actually, here, I'll show you the one, just so you can kind of see. So as you do this, it might behoove you to have like a, flatbed trailer somewhat because you'll see here in a second they both take up they both pick up at the same time a lot faster than doing one at a time so there is that anyway so we are going to go ahead and put all this flour in there and then we will show you the flour do the turn on the bread thing and then we'll pass some more time <laughs> Alrighty, so all the flour has been placed inside for the bakery to make some bread. We just gotta make sure it's selected, which it is. And we got 14,000, well, just, just over, see, it's already started making some bread, that's the deal. Uh, just over 14,900 liters. So, we're gonna fast forward time once again. And we will see what we end up with. Alrighty, so another three days forward and we have seven pallets of a thousand liters of bread. Now look at that design. Isn't that texture nice? I think it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and just check out what our sell point would be. Alright, so for bread, our best price is $2,690. Let's just go check out what our or had we sold at this point. Okay, so here you see I was right about the thousand dollars. Uh so there's that. <laughs> and then our wheat price is uh, still tops out about the same seven hundred fifty dollars fifty dollars per thousand liters. So if we grab our bread price now at twenty six ninety, we are looking at eighteen hundred or eighteen thousand $830. So, basically, you're looking at about $5,000 more difference by waiting a couple days and just doing a little bit more manual labor. If you are counting your pennies and all that fun stuff, productions are definitely the way to go. You do, do make some more money. By the way, these prices were done in normal mode. 
obviously if you are in easy mode, it's a little bit higher. And then if you're hard mode, it's a little bit lower, but the same concept remains. Let's take a look at our, our, our little milky milkersons now real quick, shall we? All right, so out of 8,000 liters of milk, we got ourselves 7,000 liters of butter. So had we sold 8,000 liters of milk, we'd be looking probably at the one, the $1,400. So you're looking at $12,000 for your milk. Now, if we had butter, let's see here. You're looking at a substantially higher amount because you got seven times uh, 2,094. That would be 14, 6, 58. You're gaining about $2,100. Again, how much extra work are you really doing? You're bringing milk from your cows you're either selling it or you're taking it to somewhere else and it does the work for you. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty excited about the productions and how they will help, especially like multiplayer and other things like that. We'll see. We'll see how this works in multiplayer anyways. Um, anyways, if you liked, if this helped you in any way, shape or form, go ahead, drop a like, comment, share anything that I may have missed. Um, we will probably doing a couple more production chains because we do have a few of them out there. There's wool, we got, we got some sugar, some other things like that. So have yourself a great and wonderful day and we will see you later. Bye. Ha 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 ha!